there's the, it's basically a relationship between two people which has broken down at the beginning of the film and the guy is remembering his relationship and he's remembering in terms of him going to a bunch of gigs the nine songs of the title and in between that the sex that he had with his girlfriend and it's all done on handheld video and basically it is it's the you know, film's very short it's only about 65 70 minutes long and about half of the running time is taken up with two people in a hotel room or in their own room having sex having actual real you know here it is we're not simulating its sex now uh, do we have time to play a clip or what do you figure go ahead okay firstly i should say that my big problem with this film is this i didn't find it uh, in any way arousing which it clearly isn't meant to be that's absolutely fine one of the things that winterbottom has managed to do which i think is interesting is to make the least titillating most explicit movie around i mean it is astonishing that a film with so much uh, explicit material in it because there really is nothing left of the imagination is so completely free of titillation and good for him in fact it's dull and i think he aimed for dull my problem with it is that i found it irritating and the reason i found it irritating was i found the two people irritating and here's the reason why we spent my birthday in a hotel where a friend of lisa's worked Lisa gave me a book on the Antarctic as my present. Oh. The ice is everywhere and everything. It spreads to all sides, an unbounded void of alien whiteness and geometric rigor. Antarctica is the highest, windiest, driest continent. Its topography and dynamics is simplest on Earth, an exercise in reductionism. The iceberg is a microcosm of Antarctica. It's a fragment torn loose from the continent, both substance and symbol. Within its ice, the berg contains a record of all ice terrains. As it moves away from the mass of ice, it gradually disintegrates. Most bergs will last less than two months in open sea. Yeah, yeah. People will watch it with the sound down, won't they? They will. They'll turn the sound up for the... Uh, for, oh, actually, ba-boom. Sorry, I missed that joke. Yeah, well done, Simon. Do you want to run it by me again? No. Okay. Um, you know, there's the, there's the songs which they'll turn the sound up for, obviously. Uh, the, pro the, the problem with the film, which is probably also its triumph, it, I hate these two people. I just found them really annoying, really <laughs> aggravating. There's a great moment in which... So they, they two like that all the way all through? All the way through. And the guy says, oh, she was great. She was one of those people. She was crazy and egotistical and carefree. And I think, yeah, I, I would spend two minutes with and then leave.